Hi hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another get ready with me slash the onesie life update. Yes, I'm still in a onesie. My dermatologist has yet to figure out what's going on. So I figured uh, I would put on makeup while telling you about my terrible skin rash and why it is almost the end of January and I still have it. So let's just dive right in. So first things first, I clipped up my bangs and I'm just going to tuck my hair in a quick little scrunchy so that it doesn't get in my way. And I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True, Band, True Blend makeup. Um, same thing I did in my last Get Ready With Me video. I've actually almost used half of this already, which is really surprising because usually I don't like a foundation enough to really go through it. So I'm going to squirt some of that on my hand. And I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to apply. And um, something I really wanted to show you guys is my beauty blender dryer, which, you know, beauty blenders have like that weird tendency to mold. So if you get like, this is actually the cap to a dry shampoo or a hairspray or whatever, and then I put three little clips on the side, and then when it's wet, it's big enough to be right in there, and then as it dries, it kind of drops down. So I'm not going to talk you through my makeup application, I'm just going to talk about other stuff. Um, so I have been seeing a dermatologist for... I don't know, a couple of months now. I started my first appointment was at the very end of November. And it is, looking at a calendar, it is January 23rd today, and I had an appointment with him like five days ago, four days ago. No, I had an appointment with him last week, and then I also went in to do a walk-in appointment a couple days ago. And so last week, let's start with that. Last week he thought maybe it was a yeast problem, like a yeast growth on my skin, but after a week of those medicines, a pill and a cream, it's not that, it made it really bad, like it made it so, so bad. I didn't leave the house all of last week because I couldn't put on clothes. Got a few more blemishes than normal right now because I've been really stressed about it. So I went in for like a walk-in appointment because like I just couldn't handle waiting another week to be seen. So I went in on Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, it was Wednesday. I'm going to set my foundation with the e.l.f. HD Loose Translucent Powder. Um, and I waited for almost two hours before he could see me. And I showed him how bad it had gotten in a week and so he decided to freeze every single little sore of the rash, which was a lot more painful than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be kind of cold, but it was not pleasant, and I don't even know if it's going to work. He doesn't know if it's going to work. He's just kind of like latch, last ditch trying to figure out a way to kill whatever it is that it is. I'm hoping it's not just an allergy or something like that, and he didn't just make it really bad. So the onesie life will be continuing for a while, I guess. Um, I did get to go back on my steroid cream, which has been helping a little bit in the last couple of days, but it's a pain in the butt. Ugh, dog hair. I'm gonna take my standard NYC bronzer in Sunny and just do a really light contour. I'm gonna be filming a couple more videos today after this, so I want it to look Okay, but I'm not doing anything today. I'm not leaving the house. I haven't left the house in, since that appointment, actually. And I probably won't leave all weekend either, because I can't put on clothes. It's really fun. <laughs> really, really fun. Oh, I forgot my highlight. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll just use blush. This is the Tarte Splendor blush, which is just like one of the like little tiny sample sizes, and it's got a little bit of glitter in it. So that'll work as a highlight. It's a really beautiful color. I love these blushes. This is the only one I actually own, but I love it. Oh. So I've just been working on the blog and, I don't know, hanging out with my dog. I tried to uh, install Skyrim and play Skyrim because my boyfriend loves that video game, but if my computer is not liking it, it keeps blue screening every time that I try to load it. So. Um, I've been watching a lot of House, and I think uh, I have a couple more episodes of that left, and then I'm going to move on to Friends, because I just put that on, and I've actually never watched Friends, because I didn't have cable growing up, so I, I hear it's worth it to watch, so I'm going to watch that one next. 
This is the e.l.f. HD, no not HD, e.l.f. Eyebrow Studio Eyebrow Kit. And I'm just kind of tinting my natural eyebrows with the gel side of it. This is the one in ash. And it matches my natural hairs really well, but just kind of gives them a little bit of color, a little bit of definition. Not going for anything extreme today. I forgot, totally forgot to put concealer on. I'm just going to pop a little bit on even though I already set my face just to cover my intense under eye circles. Which are really, really bad because I itch so bad that I stay up all night scratching and then trying, then wake up and then try to spend the next couple hours talking myself into not scratching. It's not good for you to scratch. I'm really scared that it's going to scar, especially now that he has, um, frozen them, like, what is it, like nitrous oxide or whatever? I actually thought he meant laughing gas, I thought he was going to go get laughing gas and then come back in and do it, and instead he's like, okay, take a deep breath, this is going to hurt, and I'm like, uh, what? And so yeah, he just did it. Ow, it hurt, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, and... I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the e.l.f. Studio Maximum Coverage Concealer on the very tip of my Beauty Blender. You need a little mirror. Okay, I'm just squeezing out like the tiniest little drop. This stuff is really full coverage and I really like it. I have a couple different colors. This one is in porcelain, but I have sand in my purse which you would know if you watched How to Organize Your Purse, my last video, which I will link below. Huh. So, yeah, sorry for missing my upload on Wednesday, by the way. I was at the doctor pretty much the entire day, and then when I got home, everything hurt so bad that I just curled up in a ball and cried and watched House for the rest of the day. Um, I am really lucky that I have an amazing boyfriend who takes care of me, and I don't have to worry about leaving the house when I don't feel like it. I'm self-employed, so I don't have to leave the house, but it's it's kind of a pain in the ass not to leave. Like, to need, if we need groceries or if I want to go out and get coffee, I just can't right now. So it's really annoying. Um, if you don't know, my rash is kind of like across both breasts, across my back, and then on my hips. So I can't wear anything that is fitting at all. Like, the couple times that I have left the house this week, I've worn... Um, like a big baggy sweatshirt and no bra and no shirt underneath and then like a really like soft pair of leggings essentially and that's all I get to wear because everything else like makes the rash so much worse so I don't want to go too TMI into the whole rash details but yeah it's super pain in the butt super duper pain in the butt and then I'm gonna go in with my Naked Basics palette and do a little bit of crease work here Sorry, I don't really have anything exciting to talk about this time. I haven't been doing much. I've just been working on my website and working on a couple other websites that I own and write for and it's been very boring. It's also been super, super foggy and cold here, so I can't even just go like sit outside and enjoy the sunshine because there's no sunshine. And then I'm going to take, this is one of the little elf, little black beauty books. And the shadows are really hit and miss in here, like, a lot of the shimmery ones are okay, um, a couple of the matte ones are okay, a couple of the matte ones are total crap, so... But the colors are beautiful and it's fun to experiment with, so I found this little warm brown shade here. Oh, I want to talk to you about this. This is the new Wet n Wild brush in the new Wet n Wild displays, and it comes in this little packet here. It is the eyeshadow brush, it's 99 cents. And it's just called the In Your Shadow Eyeshadow Brush. And it is a really big one if you compare it to the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. It's quite large and it's also flat but nice and poofy. I don't know how to explain brushes. But I'm just going to warm up my crease a little bit because I wanted to wear something a little warmer today. It's 
kind of a little bit of a Marsala color, this red that I'm dipping my brush into. But this brush is quickly taken over all of my brushes as my favorite brush for eyeshadow. Um, you can use it to blend, you can use it to pack on color. It's like the perfect size for my eye. It's big but beautiful. And yeah, I have been super in love. I've been trying to go to all the Walgreens and things when I do go out and see if there are any more that I can pick up. But everybody's been out, so I'm really hoping that this is a permanent um, color and that, or color, a permanent brush, and that I won't have any problem picking it up in, sometime in the next few weeks. I forgot to put eyeshadow primer on. I even brought it out. Well, I'm going to use a little bit of it just to pack on some sort of bright color here. This is the e.l.f. $1 primer that everyone says is a dupe for the Urban Decay one, and I do agree, I like it a lot, but I've kind of fallen out of love with it. I like using eyeshadow pen, um, I like using eyeshadow sticks lately as primers, like um, the Jordana ones. I've been really enjoying those and not so much this, so don't know what to say, don't know what else to say about that. So now I'm going to take a combination of this rich dark brown and this copper shade here and do the brown on the outside and the copper on the inside. It's also really hard to get your brush in these tiny palettes, so that's another reason why they're like kind of a hit and kind of a miss. I wish that they were just the tiniest bit bigger so I could fit my whole brush in there. And then going in with that copper shade. I'm really pressing that into my eye here. Packing the color on. And then I'm going to go back in with just a really light champagne color for my inner corner. Just to add a little bit of dimension in there. Voila! Now for eyeliner, I'm actually really excited. I bought the e.l.f. cream eyeliner again. I haven't had this in a few years and I only bought this maybe two weeks ago and it's already starting to dry out enough that it is peeling away from the side. So I know I only have a couple weeks of this left before it dies. If you have successfully re-wetted one of these, let, let me know in the comments how you did it because I've tried a couple of things with um, ones I've had in the past like rubbing alcohol and things and nothing has ever saved these. So how do you save yours if you do? So I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. small precision brush and I just work it around in there and then kind of wipe off the excess on the side of the jar so that my brush is loaded but not chunky. And then I'm just going to go really close to the lash line here. About two thirds of the way in and then I'm just going to go back in and thicken up that line. I love using gel eyeliners because they're so much simpler to use because it just glides right across to your eyeshadow without screwing anything up. So I am 24 and I already have wrinkle lines on my eyes, runs in my family. If you have really bad wrinkles around your eyes, how do you do your winged liner without it screwing up? So. That's like my question of the year. I'm bound and determined to perfect the perfect winged eyeliner. Um, I've tried like the scotch tape trick and stuff, but it doesn't get into the little lines. So if you have wrinkles, if you're young, if you're old, I don't care. How do you, what do you use and how do you get a perfect winged eyeliner with wrinkles? That is looks okay 
from afar away, but it's really chunky to me. It's not beautiful and thin, which is what I like personally, but... Okay, these are in no way even, and to be honest, I'm probably going to take it off before I film my next video, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it as is. I will figure it out someday, but today's not the day. I like uploading these types of videos, by the way, um, where I fuck up my makeup, because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube who post get ready with me's and things don't show when they fuck up, and I know everyone does, and... I think it's important for everyone to know that not everyone is perfect at putting on makeup and even people who have been doing makeup for years still screw up sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a professional makeup artist. Those people probably don't screw up hardly ever, but I certainly still do and I've been doing my makeup since I was like 12, so that's 12 years. So just saying. Not doesn't come out perfect every time, that's why there's makeup remover. Then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Flamed Out mascara and put this on. I bought my first pair of fake eyelashes a couple days ago. My very, very, very first pair and I am going to put them on for the first time on camera sometime in the next few days and see how that goes. You guys can watch and see how much I fuck up then. Because I know I will fuck up that pretty darn well. I'm really good at screwing stuff like that up. so. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is put on my new Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvet in Meteoric Matte, and then we'll be done here. Um, I wish there was more for me to talk to you about. My life really is that boring. At least right now it is. Oh, that's what I needed to talk to you about. In my last couple videos, I was talking about how I was getting ready to go to back to college. I can't because of A, my rash, but mainly, more importantly, B, both the classes that I was signed up for were canceled on the Friday before I was supposed to start. They called me and let me know that they were canceled. And so I went online and tried to register for like another few classes, and all of them were either full or waitlisted. I went to one to see if I could get in, and the class was too full. So I just noticed that my camera shut off sometime in the last like five minutes of recording, so I put my lipstick on if you didn't see that, and I love you guys very much. If you guys have ever dealt with a skin rash, what did you do after a dermatologist if a dermatologist isn't working? Um, I had one friend recommend that I go to an allergist, um, and one friend tell me that I'm just stuck with it forever. So leave me a comment below if you've ever dealt with something like this, and I will see you in my next video, which will be empties by the way, so if you're excited about empties, subscribe so you see it. Bye!